Welcome to tying big meaty streamers for huge rainbows and browns. Today we're tying a big articulated fly. It's tied on two gamakatsu hooks, uh, number two at the back and a number one at the front. And as you see, I'm tying on a rabbit strip. Now I'm going to add in some marabou. Typically you'd palmer it in, but I learned a technique a year or two ago from uh, Mike Schmidt. And it works out real well. You spin it almost like deer hair. This is a good technique. It's, it's faster and it gives you the opportunity to get the exact length that you want in the marabou as opposed to palmering. Add a little bit of flash. The purple and black I like. It goes well. Seems to work real well on, uh, you know, muddy water conditions, low light. Gonna add in a little bit of uh, schloppen. Just trying to get mostly the fluff in there. And again, that's the, the purple color. Gonna put another tuft of uh, marabou. And again, you could palmer. Depends on the mood I'm in as to which technique I use. Tied in another schlop and feather. Gonna put in some uh, chenille. Has a little bit of a purple tint to it as well. Palmer that schlop and feather forward. Now I'm gonna add some uh, Arctic fox fur. I really like this stuff. Uh, I'm going to add three bunches, one to the top and one to each side. One thing you could do is uh, tie it in by the butts with the tips forward and then pull it back, but that may leave it a little bit too bulky, so I'm tying in and trimming. But I, I absolutely love this, this fox fur. So much action, and it's resilient enough to move the water. You know, whip finish. Don't have to worry too much about clean up around the head. This is all going to get covered by the front fly. But in essence, it's done. You know, you could brush it out a little bit and, you know, e even it out. And But in essence, the back part of the fly is complete. Now we're going to take that back part of the fly and attach it to the front hook, which again is a Gamakatsu B10S size one. I'm adding a little glue here. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I've been kind of hot and cold on that thought all for the last couple of years. So far I've not lost a fish as a result of the connection either way. But it's probably safe to add the glue. I'm in hyperspeed here because you've seen most of these tying steps on the back part of the fly. Okay, now we're going to add the collar using Senyo Laser Dub. 
using the black on top and I guess it's a pinkish purple color on the bottom. This stuff, it's amazing. I, I just love this stuff. It has so many uses. Now we're getting ready for the head. It's a fish skull head. And as you can see, we're using a size medium. Just do a real quick fit. Add some glue. Whip finish into the glue. Slide that head up into the glue. Put a thread dam at the eye of the hook. A little whip finish. Better put a couple in. Gonna add some glue to the eye and the eye, so eye sockets. Then we're going to add the eyeballs. Normally I would have had, had this done, but I wanted to show you the steps. What I do is I'll do all of my heads, put all the eyes on the heads ahead of time. If I'm tying 30, 30 of these flies, I have 30 heads completed with the eyes. Fish skull heads are, you know, they're really, really great. I like those sculpin helmets as well. And we're going to give this thing a little grooming. I have a Belco crow strip on my wire brush handle. That way I have both handy when I need them. Here's the wire brush. And there you have it. The colors in this fly make it particularly good for fishing murky water, off-color water. So get out there and give it a try. Enjoy everyone. <laughs>